Hi guys, Silver Soul Fox here. Just going to do my daily card readings and I thought I'd try something new, completely unlike me, <laughs> and share. So once I spray the aura spray, I've already got into my sacred space. I've already rang my bells and my chimes and called in my guides and spoke with them and got permission to do so, to do all this lovely stuff here. So it's just basically me pulling cards. I'm not going to read every card um, guidebook. I'm not going to do that. This is just for my collective group of followers, friends, sisters, um, new folks, everyone who watches the channel and is like-minded, magical, you know, just love and light. So this one's for you, and I thought we would see what the cards had to tell us. Maybe something you need to hear or see, or you, or you, or me, or everyone combined. You never know, right? I just do this every day, so I'm not going to go over the decks. I'm not going to, this is just me and how I do it. This is not nothing fancy, you know, this is just a little affirmation moon deck. I pull a total of seven cards every day. Um, my focus, my intention changes, but that's about it. And I just ask my spirits what we need to hear and see right now for the collective, for my sassy soul sister energy, for my friends, my generous, big hearted, kind friends. I'm going to pull that one because it flipped over. And we'll put the cards back in the box. As we go, I like to keep my cards in their homes. I'm very weird about that. This is the card we got today. Very beautiful, very powerful card. I will persist. My will is strong. Wax and gibbous. I will persist. My will is strong. So that's a beautiful card. I like to keep them in my holders. There's a lot of things you cannot see. Um, my phone's janky. I don't have a fancy setup. I do have a large candle, a small candle, 11 crystals, three towers, seven decks, <laughs> um, some stones, you know, three, sevens, nines, elevens, that kind of vibe. Um, this new deck here I got, I'm not sure, I think it's Mystic Red Rose Oracle. I will tell you the name of it because I didn't think it would be a good deck because it was, you know, very affordable. However, I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, it's just something small and cheap, but it really touches me. It really connected to me. I enjoy the way it's not an all goody tissues deck. Like this deck gets mean. Like it tells you the bottom line on shit, man. It, it really gets down and dirty when you need to get down and dirty, if that makes any sense. Um, it's not necessarily shadow work or anything like that. It's just just a really good everyday affirmation deck, kind of. <laughs> For me, I guess, because I'm a little darker on the inside. I don't know. Anyway, what card do we need today, spirits? For my group energy, sassy soul energy. Here we got another flopper. Oh, seduction. This card right here. Seduction. See the photo? Very nice, very nice. And they have the little blurb on the card. It says attraction, teasing, hooking up, date, third party, and temptation. So there you have it. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to put that over there in my cards. And we're going to put her back in her box really quick. I didn't want this to be a long video because, like I said, I do this daily. So this is something I'm very used to doing. Um, the next one. The deck here. This is a plant ally deck. I love it. It's just, it, I'm not going to go to the guidebook, so we're just going to get the plant name and the one word, the one keyword. The spirits are going to show us that one keyword and the plant ally we need to focus on today. Today being May 11th, Saturday, I believe, yeah. Saturday. <laughs> Been getting my days mixed up. My birthday was yesterday, so I celebrate all month, though, so May is like a, a good month for me. I love May. 
and I've been super busy trying to keep up with all my sister vibes and energy. I'm going to give this one a little shuffle. But, you know, it's it's just been a lot. <laughs> but it's a good kind of busy. You know, getting birthday gifts out and sending things around. I, I enjoy giving and making, you know, so. Okay, which plant ally card do we need to see today, spirits? You want to give us one or do you want me to draw? Okay. Okay. Unfold the shuffle one more time and draw. So here we go. This is going to be our card. We've got healing. The geranium in Aries. The number 37. Number 37, healing, Aries, geranium. Beautiful card. Got the creation bottle there. The Aries sign and number up top. Yeah, you can see that. And there's number 37. Healing. Very beautiful, beautiful card. Okay. Stick this deck back in her home really quick. I try to do it as fast as possible, but I'm like so weird about that. <laughs> Everything's got to go back to where it belongs when I'm done with it, you know, that kind of sort of thing there. Next, I do my little ruins. Um, instead of getting my ruins out, which I should because I have been neglecting them. I uh, like my wooden ruins, but these cards suffice, and they've got little ruins on there with cute little um, depictions. The artwork's cute, so we'll see which ruin the spirits would like for the collective. The sassy soul sister energy, sisterly vibe going on today. Which card do my sisters need to see and focus their energy on? Which ruin is for us today, spirits? Okay, yes. He wants me to draw from the bottom. And we did, and we got La Goose. There we go. And because I am not as efficient in the ruins <laughs> as I would like to be, I like to double check myself for La Goose. Yeah, intuition, <laughs> dreams, the unconscious, that sort of vibe. So, yeah, again, La Goose. Of course, that's us. I, all of my sisters are very intuitive. Um, I do work through dreams as well. I get a lot of my cognizant hits through dreams. A lot of my signs, my uh, spirit guides like to speak with me through dreams. Dream work can be very, very satisfying um, if you get into it. Next is the animal. Which animal we're going to walk with today. I love this as a newer deck for me. I've been breaking it in for a couple months, maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see which animal wants to walk by our side today. Which animal we need to learn from today, sisters. For my sassy soul sister energy. My ladies. My friends. My YouTube pals. Which card do we need today? A little shuffle. These big cards are cool, you know. Once you figure out how they like to be shuffled, it's a lot easier to, to handle them. <laughs> Give us one, or want me to pick one? How would you like to do that, Spirit? Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Meerkat. <laughs> and what's funny is I know that the meerkat stands for sisters. And, well, you know, groups, friendships. So there's the card we drew. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. <laughs> now my spirits are just being funny. <laughs> so, yeah. Perfect? Yes. Signs? Yes. Magical? Yes. So that's us. We're a bunch of meerkats. <laughs> Thank you, spirits. Oh, I love my spiritual team. They really just, they like to show me, you know, that they're just right there with me always. And I listen. I learn to listen. Once you learn to listen, and you get that communication going, it's strong and it stays strong. So this is the Samhain. I love the poetry and I love the artwork. 
I do this for daily pulls and it's got its own little special holder over there so that I see it all the time. So which card for my sissy? Sassy Soul Sister Energy, my lady friends, my group, like-minded, beautiful, powerful, strong, magical women, folks, I should say, non-gender specific. <laughs> hey man, we don't judge over here, right? No, my mind is so open. Ooh, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen. <laughs> there we go. I think we've got one. Oh, we've got a two card one. Which one would you like, spirits? Okay. Okay, we got Greet the Darkness. Very nice. 19. Greet the Darkness. Look at that artwork. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Here where the spine bends and the mouth quivers breathes the hidden, the pieces that make you whole, but cut deep with all their sharp edges. See what I mean? I love this deck. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, that candle firelight. Oh, the holder's over here. Pardon me. <laughs> Stick her in her holder there. Okay. And now we're going to do a quick dice roll. I've got some astrology dice I like to roll before I do my tarot reading. And let me see. Put these back where they go. The three I dropped the dice. They show the planet, the sign, and the house. Again, I just roll and get what I get and put them away. I don't go into detail or anything like that. I might ponder later on throughout the day about the, the cards and the the you know the answers I got, but I don't do it right when I'm with spirit. So spirit's gonna let us know which planet, house, and sign we need to focus on today, my group of sisters and friends. Get a magical breath there. All right, here we go. And we have got Scorpio. We've got Scorpio. In there. We have got Mercury. Got to love Mercury. Yes. I think that was Mercury. Oh, no, I think that was Venus. Let me double check that. Let me see here. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Venus. <laughs> yeah, Venus. Mars is the arrow. Venus is the plus sign. <laughs> and we got the 12th house. So there we have that. And now, last but not least, I like to do a Celtic cross tarot reading. And this deck I'm using, <clears throat> I'm not sure the name of it, but it, it's, it's not a really great deck, but I like it. Um, it's got Lisa Parker on the back. <laughs> I don't like that at all, but the artwork is cute, and um, it reads really, really well. So it kind of attunes to my type of energy. So, and of course, it's got animals. <laughs> if you know, you know, that's my, my thing there. I'm not going to go into detail about the reading. I'm just going to do the cards, and I might speak a little bit about it, but I'm not going to go in detail on every card and every position. Um, I might tell you the positions as I'm do doing the turnout because it's easier that way than to do it by cards. So, I know a lot of you have been working on tarot. I've actually got a few gifts coming for a few of my sisters who've said they've been working on their tarot. So. I found a few items I thought they would like, so I've included that in their birthday gift, which I'm sending out very soon to a few of them. Um, a lot of my sisters enjoy the Oracle cards, as I do as well, but um, I know there's a few of us who like the tarot and who like to do flip-throughs and show their tarots, and in fact, that's where I found one of the gifts I've been give I'm planning on giving is one of my sister's channels. She did a flip through of the deck and I fell in love with it because I was thinking, you know, what if they would have had that when I was young, when I was learning tarot, man, that would have been so freaking easy, so cool. But nowadays they've got so many cool, cool things and cool tricks, you know, to learn and help you get through. In my day, we just had to memorize that shit old school. <laughs> like there wasn't any fancy cards that had the stuff on them or anything cool like that. Like you just had to learn. 
But this reading is focused on my Sassy Soul Sister group, my friends on YouTube, my ladies, my big-hearted, generous, gifted, magical beings who gather together and laugh and have good times and support one another and do all the good things. It always makes me feel better to chat with my friends and to, to see their videos and to see how they're doing and to know that they're going through the same things that I go through and, you know, just the like-mindedness and the strong wills and the uniqueness. Everybody's so different. It's just a beautiful thing. So that's the energy we're focusing this reading on. And we're going to see what we need to know today from my spirit guides as they are present and in a wonderful mood. Um, let's go ahead and do a Celtic cross and let's be nice spirits. All right, tell me something good. Here we go. Are we ready? I believe so. Feels nice. Feels nice. All right, the first card being the star. Okay. And so the four cups is going to cover us. Okay, the obstacle card. The ten of pentacles. Go across. This card crowns us. Ten of Cups. So double tens is a good thing. Very nice, very nice. This card is beneath us. The Three of Swords. Worst card in the deck, in my opinion. Behind us, another four. Four of Pentacles. So we've got two tens, two fours, and the dreaded three. This card is before us. The Nine of Wands. Very nice. This card's representing the situation itself. The Five of Wands. This is our you of the situation itself, the Queen of Cups. Beautiful owl there, love that. This is our fears and our obstacles. Third four, four of swords, three fours. Stability, very much so, strong stability. Final outcome card, the Magician, yes. <laughs> very good outcome. I like to do a top of the deck and a bottom of the deck pull. And the bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles. Top of the deck is the Lovers. I really like this Lovers card. It's different. Lady and her wolf. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay, so yeah. Let's see what we got here. So the three fours. Very, very significant. The double tens. And it could be the four that's left out as well that they could be pointing out. Or just the fact that it's the number four. Um, numerology plays a big part in tarot as well. That stability. I'm just getting stability. Stable. You know. So evidently someone's doing very well. <laughs> and they have a lot of stability right now in their work, in their life. Um, we have got those two tens. Completion. That's a good sign. A good thing. You know, ten is the final you know, you've completed all your hard work, you've completed it, you're finally at the end. So I feel like someone has been going through trouble, a rough patch, and it is now over. It is time to breathe. Good things are coming in. The Nine of Wands coming in. The good things are coming in. You know what I mean? So the, the hard is back here. It's behind you. You've finally overcome it. And the Queen of Cups tells me the emotion, you know, that you're dealing with a lot of emotions, <clears throat> good emotions, you know, not, not the bad kind, the good kind, sometimes can be overwhelming just as much so though, even though they're good emotions, they can still overwhelm you, I love the Queen of Cups card, motherly energy, emotional, just wrap her arms around you and hug you kind of energy, Queen of Cups. And that's us. That's a lot of my sisters. I love that. Um, so the fives, I don't like fives. Fives for me are like conflict. You know, a lot of uh, argument of energy. Um, and that was the basis of the situation. So we go from that to the emotion, to the stability, to the boom, the magician. Now the magician card for me is having everything you need to solve your issues with magic you know, with your lifestyle. You always have what you need inside you. 
You just have to find it. You have to dig deep inside yourself and find it. And it's there. So, yeah, the, the, the levers and the, the five was just like extra cards that I pulled. But they can touch with the reading as well. So, yeah, that was a pretty good reading. I liked it. So, I hope you guys did too. I hope you enjoyed this video. And you maybe learned something from it. And maybe we'll do it again. We'll see how it turns out. But that was pretty much all I had for you for today. So, yeah. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a magical day. Bye-bye.